Hello, I know it is late, but I'm going to read a poem. Um, it is actually Valentine's Day today, 14th of February. Um, and it's 10 11 pm, because isn't it? It's 10 11 pm. I think it has been dark around 6 7 pm. Maybe it's because I've moved some furniture around. But so today's a sort of Valentine's inspired. It is called Valentine or Valentine. Uh, by Wendy Cope, uh, July 21st, 1945. My heart has made its mind up and I'm afraid it's you. Whatever you've got lined up, my heart has made its mind up. And if you can't be signed up, this year, next year will do. My heart has made its mind up and I'm afraid it's you. Simple, concise, uh, that allows for sort of instant recognition of emotional sort of power, not parallel, 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 paralleling, paralleling, trying, trying to add more L's to parallel is that going to be a disaster, parallel, 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 paralleling, I know what I'm trying to say, but it's not going out, um, I'm trying to make a sort of verb for me, um, paralleling, 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 anyway, 10 years later, um, I've been having speaking problems all day um, and stuff. Um, my throat's playing up. Um, but um, uh, sort of identifying, um, excuse me, um, this sort of symbiotic relationship. There's another word I'm looking for, I don't the term, but um, sort of identifying. Um, um, not sure what is going on outside my bedroom, but um, let's focus the uh, back to the bedroom. Um, identifying with the um, emotion, um, as in whether or not she can relate to it, just you know, instantly listening, to, you know, you're able to hear the story like a story. Um, someone falls in love, someone has a quest to find Excalibur, but you may not be able to identify with the themes, even if you can see any other sort of parallels or analogies and stuff, um, uh, allegorical and stuff. Um, um, but you're able to hear it, you're able to understand. Um, obviously, if you can ex if experience it directly, you can understand it in a different way, but you can still understand. Um. So, yeah, interesting. Um, to Moses, I'm going to need to brush up on my French. A, a cure bon I can say bon, B O N, I can say that. Uh, a, cure, a cure bon de, de, I mean, dire in English, but I'm not sure if it's pronounced the same. Um, a, a cure bon de by Charlotte Mew. Her surname is Mew. We dreamed of creating the world's strongest Pokemon. I was thinking about that earlier in a sketch. Um, and also revisiting the serious version because I did film it. I was being, as in, I was playing Blaine, being uh, doing his role and briefly, um, maybe a year or two years ago. And I should refilm that maybe tomorrow. Um, but still, what the uh, the other content below the title is in English, so I can hopefully, if my throat is a bit better, uh, pronounce that okay.